why do most women stop following their dreams? As I started doing my own research on this topic, I started looking at my own life and I was like, dang on it, that's me. And I am willing to bet that as you listen to these things, you're gonna see yourself in this too. So if you wanna find out if you're in this category of women who have just completely given up on their dreams, keep watching. What's up ladies, I'm Karen. Welcome to Karen Marie Music, a place where you have a network of women inspiring you to dust off your dreams and actually start living them. And so today we're gonna delve into a question that is the basis for why I'm starting this endeavor. And that is, why do most women stop following their dreams? Now brothers, hear me out. I am in no way excluding you from people who give up on their dreams because I know very well you do too. I'm just here to support my girl band and provide them a productive place to network and to be inspired. So now, number one of the top four reasons that women stop pursuing their dreams. Family life. You guys listen, I get it. You got the husband, you got the kids, and in a lot of cases, you got the dog too, and the cat, and whatever else you got in your house. A lot of that responsibility falls back on mama, I know. And if you're a single mom, you don't have that extra layer of support where you can say, hey honey, can you watch the baby for this few minutes while I go in here and write these lines out of this play that I'm working on? Or some of you may be a caregiver of a loved one. You may have someone that lives in your home with you that you take care of, and you don't have that extra layer of support there either. But I wanna suggest something to you, and this is what I had to do. Write down for seven days. Now, seven days, I want you to write down everything that you do from the time you get up to the time you go to bed. And I am willing to bet that you can find a 30 minute pocket of time somewhere once a week that you can work on your craft or that you can work on your dream or that you can even sit down and ask yourself, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing right now? 30 minutes, chronicle your time and find 30 minutes. I guarantee if you do this, you will be able to find that time so that you can start working on it. Number two of the top four reasons that women stop following their dreams is lack of support. Listen, I found myself in this situation. When I say lack of support, I don't mean lack of money. Lack of support meaning lack of moral support, lack of, you don't have a cheerleader, you don't have somebody that's encouraging you to actually move forward. I'll tell you a little story about me. I can remember I was probably maybe 29, 30 years old and I was like, man, you know what? I just really wanna work on my craft. I wanna go to school for music. I wanna major in music. I wanna do all the things. I wanna do piano, I wanna do voice. I wanna learn to teach. I wanna do all those things, things that I already know how to do but I wanted to add the technical side to it because I felt like I really needed to do that so I got on the phone and I started you know talking about it and the question was well how are you gonna do that how are you gonna do that and work at the same time well, what about the kids what about this what about that see that's where we mess up and it's not that people mean to put any level of doubt in your mind when God puts something inside of you when you first receive it you're childlike the thing that you need to do is run towards it because what I should have done was go ahead, register for school. I would have done what I needed to do at the time. I would have figured out how I was going to work, how I was going to take care of the kids. It would have all lined up because I would have been doing ultimately what I was supposed to be doing. Number three of the top four reasons women stop following their dreams, drum roll, lack of money. Now y'all listen, my husband and I struggled for a lot of years a lot of years because my husband was also a professional musician sometimes that income was inconsistent because gigs get canceled and you really don't have anything to fall back on when you're living above your means you don't have no savings you make a payment arrangements every time you turn around these are the facts honey start living below your means figure out how to sell something get rid of stuff i'm telling you trust me this is what you want to do because if you don't you're going to dig your hole deeper and deeper and it's going to be harder and harder for you to focus on those things that you were created to do okay the fourth and final reason that women stop following their dreams is the biggest to me and that's lack of confidence i don't know maybe you were bullied when you were in school maybe you're just really very shy maybe you had an experience like i had i worked with a couple of producers one time and I knew that the songs they were writing for me I knew I said oh this ain't me this ain't I don't do that this is not my style aren't you a producer why aren't you creating something for me that fits me and that is one thing that my husband and I always tell people we're not gonna write anything for you that is not going to fit you because if we did that and you go out there and do it ultimately what's gonna happen is you're not gonna be confident in it because it's not you so why would we give you something that doesn't fit you that 
will mess with your confidence, y'all. I went in a shell for a lot of years. I started measuring myself against other people. I started saying to myself, well, you don't sing as good as her, or you don't do this, or you don't do that. They even told me, I need to make you a little bit rougher. But that's not, that's not who I am as an artist. I have a very specific style, and I do not deviate from that, y'all, because that is who God made me to be. I don't need to be like Susie Artist over here. You don't need to be like me. You need to embrace your uniqueness. And it took my husband a lot of years, y'all. Like, I had to really build my confidence back up because I went in a shell. I shut up for a long time. I, I stopped singing for a long time. I was nervous every time I got on the stage for a long time because I felt like somebody was judging me. That is why you have to find the right producer. And that's why I'm glad you're here. So let's just recap. The top four reasons that you stop working on your dreams, family life, lack of support, lack of money, and lack of confidence. We're gonna build all that back up. I don't care what it is you wanna do. If you wanna sing, if you're a songwriter, if you are a producer, you just can't find the right artist, if you are a playwright, if you wanna do spoken word, if you're an author, anything to do with performing art, I'm your coach, I got you. So what I want you to do now is comment below. Let me know which of these four things hit you to heart. If all of them hit you hard, girl, tell me all of them hit you hard because we're going to work on that. But you know what you got to do? You got to subscribe and you got to hit the little bell. I'm going to start by uploading videos once a week, typically sometime between Thursday and Sunday. But you won't know unless you click that little bell so that you can know when I've uploaded something. So thank you all for spending this time with me, my first video. I'm excited about it and I'm excited about your journey and I'm here to help you. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.